Hello students, I hope you are doing well. My name is Dr. B. Chandrasekhar. I am working at Telangana Model School, Mithodi, as PGT Chemistry. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about a topic in the Atoms and Molecules Unit. For writing the chemical formula of compounds, we have to follow two different rules. The first rule is this here. We must see the elements present in the molecule for the compound. Okay, The molecule of a compound that contains different types of elements. So, according to the first rule, we should identify those elements and we should write the symbols of those elements and the second point that we should remember is we must see the number of atoms of each element present in that molecule that means the molecule of a compound contains different elements in different number so the number of atoms of different elements that should be observed for a given compound and while writing the chemical formula of a compound, we should observe, we should note that the number of atoms should be shown as subscripts to the symbol of elements. Whatever the elements that we are identifying as per the first rule and writing the symbols of those elements at the bottom, that means as subscripts, we have to show the number of those atoms. So, the number of atoms should be shown as subscripts of those elements. And another thing is, if a molecule of a compound is having only one atom, okay, if molecule of a compound is having only one atom of a specific element, then we need not to show the subscript 1 in such case. Which means, if only one atom is there, we need not to show number 1 as a subscript. We can exclude it. We need not to show that one. Let us see one example. That is carbon dioxide. We will apply both the rules for writing the chemical formula of, chemical formula of this compound. Okay. According to the first point, the elements present in this molecule, the elements present in this molecule should be identified. What are the elements that are present in the given molecule of a compound? The elements are, one is carbon and its symbol is C and the other element is oxygen and its symbol is O. Right? So, after identifying the elements present in the molecule of a compound, we have to write both the symbols of elements together. Now, we will apply the second rule. The number of atoms of each element, the number of atoms of each element, those should be shown as subscripts to this symbols of elements. So in the given name, carbon, only one atom is present, but oxygens, two oxygen atoms are present. So that carbon is only one and oxygen, two oxygen atoms are present. But as we wrote the note here, according to that note, if only one atom is present, we need not to show the subscript 1. We need not to show the subscript 1 in the molecular formula of that compound. Therefore, the molecular formula or the chemical formula of carbon dioxide is CO2. The chemical formula of carbon dioxide is CO2. 
for writing the molecular formula of a compound we follow a method which is called crisscross method crisscross method is very useful in writing the molecular formula of compounds and the following are the steps which should be followed to write the molecular formula of a compound okay now let us see how we can write the molecular formula of a compound by using this crisscross method crisscross method the steps which we have to follow are given here the steps to be followed while writing the chemical formula of a compound for our understanding purpose i have taken an example that is magnesium chloride the name of the compound is magnesium chloride so as per this crisscross method the step 1 is write the symbols of each atom side by side write the symbols of each atom present in the name of the molecule side by side okay so what are the symbols what are the atoms that are present in the given compound that should be written side by side and here we are saying usually the cation should be written first followed by an anion the compound magnesium chloride that contains two different types of atoms one is magnesium its symbol mg other one is chloride its symbol is cl right for magnesium chloride compound we have written the symbol of magnesium mg and chlorine cl after writing the symbols of elements or atoms or molecules present in the compound we have to follow this second step according to the second step write the valency of each atom on the top of its symbol valency of an ion is equal to its charge as we know magnesium ion magnesium cation usually contains plus 2 oxidation state or the plus 2 charge on that magnesium contains plus 2 charge magnesium cation contains plus 2 charge on that so that the valency of magnesium is 2 chloride anion contains minus 1 charge chloride anion contains minus 1 charge so the valency of chlorine is 1 here so according to the second step the valency of magnesium 2 is written here and valency of chlorine 1 is written here now we'll go to the third step divide the valency numbers by their highest common factor by their highest common factor if any to get the simple ratio in the above case 2 and 1 are the valencies and we need not to divide these numbers with highest common factor why because it is already the simple ratio there are no common factors for this 2 and 1 so step 3 the third step can be excluded while writing the molecular formula of this type of compounds for writing the molecular formula of magnesium chloride this third step can be excluded let us go to the fourth step in this step interchange the valency and write the numbers to the lower right of the constituents as they subscripts in our example we observe that magnesium has valency as 2 and chloride 
has valency as well. Now we have to interchange these valencies. So one should be brought to the subscript, brought to the bottom of magnesium and two should be brought to the bottom of the chloride. Number one should be written as a subscript of magnesium and number two should be written as subscript of chlorine. After writing this, we will go to the fifth step. In the fifth step, if any constituent atom or molecule receives the number one, if any constituent atom or molecule, if it receives number one, ignore it while writing the formula. In our example, magnesium has got one as subscript. So according to this fifth step, according to this fifth step, the subscript one can be excluded. It can be ignored so that the chemical formula, the chemical formula of magnesium chloride can be written by excluding number one for magnesium and we have to show the subscript to for chlorine as it is. Let us move on to the last step, sixth step. If any constituent has more than one atom, if any constituent has more than one atom, enclose it with a bracket, enclose it within brackets and mention its subscript. Okay, if any constituent which means any cation or anion, if it contains more than one atom, then we have to show that constituent, including all the atoms present in that, in a square bracket. That should be enclosed within square bracket, within a bracket. Okay, right. So we have to use a bracket. To enclose all the atoms present in the constituent. For this one, we here in our example, only single atoms are present in the constituent particles. That is, magnesium has Mg as a single atom, chlorine has Cl as a single atom. Suppose if we observe, for example, if we take sulfate, if we take sulfate that is aluminium sulfate if we observe aluminium sulfate in its molecular formula or in its chemical formula sulfate that contains more than one atom that means one sulfur and four oxygens are present here so because of that one all the atoms present in this constituent anion, constituent particle should be enclosed, should be enclosed within a bracket, within a bracket. So aluminium is one species that we are getting. The other species is sulfate. Aluminium has valency as 3 and the sulfate has valency as 2. Right? By following the steps mentioned in the earlier, like in the fourth step, exchange or interchange these subscripts. Two should be brought as the subscript of aluminum, three should be brought as the subscript of sulfate. So from this one you will get the molecular or the chemical formula of aluminum sulfate as Al2. SO4 and subscript as 2, subscript as 3. As the subscript as 3 that we got here. So from this one, here the sulfate SO4, sulfate, it is having more than one atom in it so that 
all the atoms of this constituent are enclosed within a bracket this enclosed within a bracket so this is the example for this sixth step in which more than one atom are present in the constituent cation or